What's up guys and welcome back. Today's tutorial we'll be going over how to install anti-cheat for your Minecraft slash bucket server. First things first, you're going to want to navigate to this page here. Link to it will be down in the description. Once here, click download. You're going to want to download the latest version. Once you have that, you're going to want to navigate to where you have it. Go into your server folder. Go into your plugins, then simply drag and drop this in. <clears throat> Once that's there, we're ready to edit our permissions. Open up your permissions file. Again, edit with Notepad++. Once in here, you're going to want to go to this page here, which I'll leave a link down in the description. It has all the permission nodes. Uh, for the video, I copy and pasted them in the Notepad so that I could easily see them. So, if you read over it, you'll see that administrators on your server should get, receive the permission node anti-cheat.admin. Simple enough. So we'll just simply go down here. Add the permission node anti cheat dot admin, and then if you read it, it says that this does not exempt them from the checks. For example, like if you're mining a lot of coal and only coal, it would go off and say that you're cheating on your own server, which is nuts. So you have to give yourself this permission node anti cheat dot check dot exempt. So we'll just simply issue that to ourselves. Anti cheat.check.exempt there's also a permission node for anti-cheat.mod so that you wouldn't have to type out all these permission nodes one by one I wouldn't advise giving them anti-cheat cheat check.exempt I just had a problem with one of my mods on my server today cheating so you know it's all up to you and how much you trust your mods anyways once that's done just simply want to save it I'm over here on a side note you could give some of your players like anti cheat dot check dot zombie dot fly so that they could use the zombie fly mod on your server. I personally don't give anybody this type of crap. I don't, it's considered a form of grief and in my opinion. It's all up to you though, like I said, you the server owner. So once you have that you can edit close out of there. Back out. Now we're ready to run our server. I'll go ahead and start this up. We're basically starting this so that it'll generate the config file in which we need to edit. So that anti cheat set up properly. Once it's done loading, issue the stop command. Go back into the plugins folder. Come up here to the anti cheat folder. Here you see the config. You're going to want to again edit with Notepad. And here you have some options log x ray stats true, alert when x ray is found so that an admin will be alerted. That somebody is possibly x raying, it's up to you. Set it to true, in my opinion. <clears throat> then, with anti cheat, you have a low level, medium level, and a high level hacks. Once they reach a medium level, they'll receive a warning as, long, as well as you will that they could be possibly hacking or that they may have a bad connection. Once they reach a high level of hacks, though, they will be kicked. You can set this so that they are banned, or you can set it up so that they're temp banned. Um, system auto update. I like to leave mine true so that when downloads come out, they're pushed to the console immediately. Log the console, that's up to you. It's kind of spammy. Verbal startup. You don't want to mess with this. This is only for debugging issues. Block chat, chat spam, true. Block com command spam, true. Silent mode, false. And then down here, you can decide which worlds you want it enabled in if you didn't want it running on all worlds. Once you're done editing that, go ahead and save it again. We don't need this anymore. Back out. We're again ready to run the server. While that's loading up, I'll get Minecraft up here. Local host, we're ready to connect. Um, let me turn off IRC. So now that we're in here, I believe we are ranked in the member group. Now if I was to attempt to use the hack, for example, we'll say fast break, in which you can break, break blocks super fast, this should then block it. As you can see, we're not able to break them super fast, whereas if you didn't have this in, people could do a lot of damage and break blocks super fast that they normally wouldn't be able to break fast. Um, another thing that it blocks that I can show you real quick is the fly mod. When I turn the fly mod on, as you can see, it, my screen gets real jerky. 
it keeps throwing me back, and if you don't have flying enabled on the server, you will eventually be kicked, which is, you know, a big tip-off. Anyways, uh, oh, yeah, there's another thing I could show you real quick. We'll get in here. I need to, again, rank myself to admin real fast. Uh, if I can get to the council, here we go. <laughs> Set myself to admin real quick. Alright, user group set. Should be admin, double check. Okay, now that we're admin, you can now check the anti cheat help commands. In case you're not familiar with this, just type in anti cheat space help. And it gives you a list of commands anti cheat.log that would en enable the log on the server. Like I said, it's kind of spammy, but it would tell you every little minor infraction that a player makes. Anti cheat.report or space report. We give you a report on a player. You can get a, ind a report on an individual player by doing anti cheat report in the player's name. You can reload the plugin. I don't rec recommend reloading plugins. I always stop and start the server. It's bad on them, causes memory leaks. Anti cheat reset. You can reset the user if he gets set into the medium level hack level. You know he's a trusted player. Um, you know, there's bugs with this, just as there is with any anti cheat plugin. Um, Anti-cheat x-ray user, you can check their stats. Anti-cheat spy, um, this will basically use like a simple vanish and teleport you to the player. Um, it's kind of buggy at times for me. I use vanish no packet. I think in the next video that's what I'm going to go over, show you guys how to set up vanish no packet. Uh, it's a better vanish plugin in my opinion. I don't even bother with the anti-cheat spy. But anyways, that wraps the video up. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section. Like I said, that's all I got. This has been Too Cold, and I'm out. Peace.